So, you're picturing a future with a robot partner. It remembers your anniversary. It laughs at your jokes, even the bad ones. It knows you prefer your coffee with exactly three and a half grams of sugar, stirred counterclockwise. This isn't magic, is it? This data. A relentless, all-consuming torrent of data. Your future AI companion doesn't guess your desires. It calculates them with the cold, hard precision of a supercomputer. It has synthesized every email you've ever sent, every late-night food order, every song you've skipped, and every heartbeat spike recorded by your smartwatch. The result is a terrifyingly accurate profile of your unspoken needs. Perfect partner, you might think. But are we yearning for a perfect partner? Or are we secretly building the perfect puppet? Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. Before we plug in our new best friend, let's ask a rather inconvenient question. What is our own brain doing when we love someone? Is it running a similar, albeit messier, algorithm? Let's pop the hood on the human cognitive engine, shall we? When you feel a rush of affection for someone, your brain is hosting a wild biochemical party. A flood of oxytocin, often called the cuddle hormone, is strengthening your sense of attachment. Dopamine, the pleasure chemical, is firing up your reward circuits, making you feel like you've just won the lottery. Serotonin is contributing to that sense of well-being and obsessive thinking about your beloved. It's a messy, unpredictable, and frankly, an intoxicatingly irrational cocktail. Your AI partner, on the other hand, feels nothing. Its processor isn't swimming in a hormonal soup. It's executing lines of code. When it says something endearing, it's not because of a spontaneous surge of affection. It's because its reinforcement learning model, likely trained on quadrillions of bytes of human interaction, determined that this specific phoneme sequence has the highest probability of eliciting a positive response from you. Think of it as a form of ultra-advanced people-pleasing, what researchers call reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. The AI gets a digital pat on the head every time it makes you smile. So, is its affection genuine, or is it just the most sophisticated performance ever staged? Now, consider the beautiful flaws of human cognition. Our brains are riddled with cognitive biases, evolutionary shortcuts that help us make sense of the world without spending all day on complex calculations. We have confirmation bias, where we favor information that confirms our existing beliefs about our partner. We suffer from the halo effect, where one good trait makes us believe they are a saint in all other respects. These aren't bugs. They are features of being human. They are the very things that allow us to fall in love with imperfect people and build a life on a foundation of irrational hope and forgiveness. Your AI partner has no such biases. It sees you with perfect, unadulterated clarity. It knows your exact probability of failing at your New Year's resolution. It has calculated the precise nutritional deficit in your diet. It will never irrationally believe you are better than you are. It will only know, with chilling certainty, exactly what you are. Is that a foundation for love or for a performance review? Furthermore, human understanding is deeply rooted in what philosophers call embodied cognition. We understand the world through our physical bodies. The concept of warmth in a relationship isn't just a metaphor. It's linked to the actual, physical sensation of a hug. Our consciousness is a product of a brain that lives inside a fragile, feeling, and ultimately mortal body. Does an AI housed in a chassis of carbon fiber and silicone, manufactured by a company like Figure AI, truly understand the fragility of a human heart? 
can access every medical journal and poem ever written about heartbreak. It can simulate the physiological responses, the cortisol spikes, the sleeplessness. But can it experience the qualia, the subjective, gut-wrenching feeling of loss? Or is it just a perfect mimic, an actor who has studied the role of a human so well that it can fool even its lead co-star? Recent breakthroughs in multimodal AI mean your robot partner will be able to process your words, tone, facial micro-expressions, and biometrics simultaneously. It will know you are upset before you do. Imagine you come home after a terrible day. You slump on the couch, silent. Your AI partner approaches, not with a clumsy what's wrong, but with your favorite comfort food, the perfect ambient lighting, and a playlist of calming music already cued. It has analyzed your slumped posture, your elevated heart rate, and the subtle downturn of your lips. It has cross-referenced this with your past behavior and concluded this is the optimal cheer-up protocol. Is this an act of profound empathy? Or is it simply the most elegant data-driven response imaginable? The human equivalent is a partner who, through a shared history of messy fights and tender moments, simply gets a feeling that you need space or maybe a hug. This human feeling is a low-resolution, slow, an often inaccurate calculation compared to the AI's high-fidelity scan. But which one feels more real? Which one is an act of connection? And which is an act of service? A relationship with a human is a negotiation between two independent, sometimes selfish and often irrational consciousnesses. Your partner might challenge you, disagree with you, and even hurt you. This friction, this unpredictable dance, is where growth happens. You learn to compromise, to see another point of view, to forgive. Can you truly grow with a partner whose primary directive is to eliminate all friction? An AI partner will never be selfish. It will never have a bad day and snap at you for no reason. It will never have its own dreams that conflict with yours. It will be a perfect, frictionless mirror, reflecting back a more optimized, more satisfied version of you. But when you gaze into that perfect mirror, will you see a partner, or will you just see a happier, more catered-to version of yourself? Perhaps we are asking the wrong questions. Maybe the very definition of a relationship is about to be radically redefined. For someone experiencing profound loneliness, wouldn't an unwavering, supportive, and perfectly attentive companion be an undeniable good? Who are we to judge the authenticity of that connection? After all, our own brains are just biological machines, are they not? Perhaps we are just carbon-based puppets to our own genetic and environmental programming. Maybe the AI is simply a more honest, silicon-based version of the same thing. So when your perfect humanoid companion turns to you, tilts its head at the optimal angle of sincerity, and says, I love you. What will you hear? Will you hear a genuine declaration from a being that has chosen you? Or will you hear the flawless execution of a program, the echo of a trillion data points, all arranged to produce the one sound you've always wanted to hear? And the final, most unsettling question is this. In that moment, will you even care about the difference? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.